Hey guys, check it out. The Barracuda races are this weekend. And it looks like all the best racers are going to be there. So we're all going, right? <sighs> I can't. My parents have relatives in from out of town. Yeah, me neither. My dad's working all weekend. And my mom's hosting a dumb, guppy shower for our neighbor. Hey guys, cheer up. I'll just ask my parents. I'm sure they'll be glad to take all of us. Mom! Dad! What is all of this junk? Why is the house such a mess? Have you forgotten what weekend this is, dear? It's our once-a-year cleaning and spruce up. But... but it can't be! Don't worry, Rainbow. This project is for grown-ups only. We don't expect you to do any cleaning. I'm not worried about that. I... I need you to take me and see Philly and Blue to the Barracuda races. Sorry, dear, but we're going to be tied up all weekend long. Say, I have an idea. Why don't you ask Ruby to take you? Ruby? Are you kidding? Well, it wouldn't hurt to ask now, would it? All right, fine. I'll ask her. A lot of good it's gonna do. Thanks, Sir Sword. <laughs> These are gonna look totally foamy on my dresser. <laughs> mm. You grow the best coral reef roses. Ah, my dear. When I lived in the Old World Sea, my roses were even more beautiful. You lived in the Old World Sea? Oh my gosh! All my favorite groups are from there, like the Smashing Eels and Pearl Clown. Well, I wouldn't know anything about those music groups. Huh? But I do know that the Old World Sea has a great sense of culture and history. Culture and history? Oh, it sounds dreamy. Oh, tis, my dear. In fact, everyone there is so aware of tradition that um, even the superstitions get taken seriously. Superstitions? Really? Like what? Oh, one always uh, tried to avoid things which could bring bad luck, uh, such as whistling past a coral reef or uh, swimming under a walrus. But of course, there was nothing like the horrible bad luck that would come from crossing the path of a black-shelled sea snail. A black-shelled sea snail? I've... I've... I've never seen one of... <coughs> Don't ever sneak up on me like that! Sorry. Sheesh. So, uh, sis, you like the Barracuda races, right? Sure. I go every year. So, uh, how about you take me, Sea Philly, and Blue along with you? <laughs> me? Take you and your little friends? Yeah, I kind of figured that's the reaction I'd get. Yeah, okay. Huh? You mean it? Thanks, sis. I can't wait to tell my friends the good news. Oh my gosh. I'm supposed to be meeting my friends at Wanda's. Uh, see you later, Sir Sword. <laughs> Thanks for the roses. Uh, my pleasure, my dear. Hey! Why don't you watch where you're... Ah! A black-shelled sea snail. Just the kind that Sir Sword said brings horrible bad luck. <laughs> Good thing I'm not superstitious. bad luck and curses. Yeah, really. I mean, like, get a grip. <laughs> You're right. I guess I'm just being so... What? <gasps> Did you see that? It could happen to anyone. But it happened to me. It's the curse. <laughs> oh, sorry, Ruby. Well, I'd say that this meal was on the house, but uh, it seems to be on you. Do you see? I'm doomed! Ruby, what's wrong? Everything. Honey, what happened exactly? My life is over. I can no longer face the world. I've got a horrible bad luck curse on me. Whoa, sounds like Ruby's gone barnacle brain, huh? 
Not now, Rainbow. Whatever gave you the idea you've got a curse on you, Ruby? Sir Sword! He said if a black shelled sea snail crosses your path, you get horrible bad luck. I think it's time we had a little chat with our neighbor. I am never, ever leaving my room again! Cool! What am I thinking? If Ruby's hiding in a room, she can't take us to the Barracuda races. Mom! Dad! You've got to help this poor girl! Ruby, dear, we've brought you a bowl of your favorite seaweed chowder. Nice and cold, just the way you like it. We've also brought someone to see you. <laughs> Hello, Ruby. I've brought you some more of my lovely coral reef roses. I... Oh! I'm terribly sorry, Aqua. Please, just talk to Ruby. Uh, yes, well, uh, Ruby, uh, when I spoke to you of old world sea superstitions, I was really talking about the past. Uh, you see, in modern times, we're more sophisticated. We've come to realize that these superstitions are uh, rather silly. <laughs> silly? Like getting sideswiped by a street cleaner? Or having driftwood come falling out of the sky at you? <laughs> yes, well, uh, how can I make myself perfectly clear? Um, aha! I have it! <laughs> ah, so sorry. My fault entirely. No, it's not! It's the horrible bad luck curse! Now, Ruby... Everyone, please, just leave! And tell the world that I'm going to stay in this room forever! Oh, this is so awful. Tell me about it. This really bites the big worm. Yeah, now we're not gonna have anyone to chaperone us. I can't believe you guys. Ruby is going through a terrible time, and all you care about is missing out on the Barracuda races? Yeah? Well, I suppose you don't want to see Mario Findretti race. Mario Findretti is racing? Why didn't you say so? We've got to get to those Barracuda races. Yeah, well, we can't. All because Ruby's got some dumb idea in her head that she's cursed. You're right. It is all in her head. So all we've got to do is get it out of her head. Yeah, of course. Exactly. Uh, how do we do that? We give her something that she thinks will bring her good luck. Yeah. Something that'll make her think the curse is wiped out. My parents always said that a four-leaf sea clover brings good luck. Yeah, I've heard that too. Uh, slight problem, guys. Four-leaf sea clovers are kind of rare. Hey, the undersea meadow's full of all kinds of clover. How hard could it be to find a four-leaf one? We must have picked through two zillion clovers. Not one four-leafer in the bunch. We might as well just give up. And miss the barracuda races? No way. Keep looking, you guys. Uh... Hiya, sis. Get away. Stay back. Something terrible is going to happen. Wrong, Amoli. Something good is about to happen. The answer to all your bad luck problems. A four-leaf sea clover. Here, try it out. Four-leaf sea clover? Yep. From now on, you'll have good luck coming out of your gills. Well, I guess it couldn't hurt to... You know, I, I do feel a little better. That's because the curse is lifting. You're cured. So, let's just get you up out of this bed, and we'll be off to the Barracuda races. Wait. I I've got to test this thing out. Make sure it's really strong enough to fight off my bad luck. <laughs> the street cleaner. Here goes nothing. It worked! I didn't get splashed! The bad luck curse is really broken! How can I ever thank you guys? Take us to the Barracuda races! You got it! All ready to go? Just give us five minutes, so we can tell our folks. I'm glad you finally realized that curse stuff was all in your head. What are you talking about? This four-leaf clover is what got rid of the curse. It's a fake. We couldn't find a four-leaf clover, so we stuck two two-leaf clovers together. But...
but it made me feel so lucky. So what does that tell you? That it really is all in my head. The good luck and the bad luck. Yep. And you and your friends went to all this trouble just to help me. Well... No, you didn't! You did it to get me out of my room so I'd take you to the Barracuda races. Easy now, sis. Oh, when I get a hold of you, you're gonna be out of luck! Ha ha ha!